Hey there gang, I thought I might touch base just real quickly in between turns here. It's just the, the second turn, so we haven't really got very far. But we've already struck a few interesting situations that uh, upon further review of the rules and uh, an examination of how things work when you actually apply the rules, there, there's some curious or odd decisions that have been made about how this game applies rules and in various circumstances, and in particular, movement and combat. Uh, yeah, two biggies. Uh, so, the first concept is that uh, you know, we're dealing with monthly turns, except for winter, which is a couple of months. You know, there's two winter turns, or whatever it may be. Maybe there's, yeah, two winter turns. And they, they comprise a, a handful of months. So uh, when we play the April turn, the May turn, the June turn, we've got a set of soldiers and baggage train and all that sort of stuff and a legion or legions with a leader and they're trying to move, let's say they're moving from, I don't know, let's look at the map here somewhere, not, not somewhere in Rome because you know, we, you know, you would imagine being able to move from here to here, you would have no problem. The army's probably marched up and down this road a hundred times. Well, maybe they haven't, but somebody has and someone knows the way and you've got the freaking coastline along the side there, so you ain't gonna get lost, right? So let's just say, for instance, we're trying to march from Thessalonica uh, to Nicomedia, right? I'm going to try and move the camera so that you don't have to deal with that glare. So, there's Thessalonica. Right here. Just out of, just a half shot. Right, right here. And I've got an army. And that army can move it four movement points, and because it's on the road, it's going to get plus two. So six movement points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Depending on what I roll on the table, and if I just grab the table here and flip it over, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Uh, if I'm using a road or a trade route, there's a pretty little chance that I may scatter. But, uh, so that's good, right? Uh, although I can face attrition if I roll a six, so one chance in six uh, if it's winter time, in fact, two chances in six if it's winter time, that I will lose half my total SP. Now, if I happen to be a uh, stack of two or three legions, and those legions are measured at five. Uh, I'm going to lose five strength points, which need to be rebuilt from scratch, which cost me a strategy chip, of which in this particular scenario I have eight. So conceivably I could build eight units in a turn, and that would mean I wouldn't be able to do any use any chips for combat. Uh, I'd have to, to replace them. But if, if I were to be, uh, somehow I ended up here because I advanced after combat or something happened and I start my turn there and although I'm within, you know, a relatively close area, this is 40 or 50 kilometers or 70 kilometers or something like that it's supposed to be, uh, of Thessalonica, now I'm in cross country mode of movement, I can potentially scatter two chances and six of scattering. One third of the time, I'm going to be, once I'm finished moving, the, now it's not explained who scatters you, whether you to, to scatter yourself or whether you, your opponent scatters you, but I'm going to be moved one hex. And that's going to be, I'm going to be moved, so for instance, if I was a jerk and I was, uh, the opponent gets to roll, or gets to move you, I would put you here. So that you have to roll again on the cross-country table versus the road trade route table, and you face another one-third chance of being uh, scattered. Now I forget where this guy was, I think he was here. But nevertheless, that's the first challenge. To me, and it's easy to fix if you just, <laughs> I think you would just say, uh, that you know, if you're in the known empire and you're within one hex of a trade route or uh, the coastline or some major feature that's fairly well known at the time, really should be no chance of you scattering. I could, uh, there's even a chance of scattering on, on a river, which I find kind of crazy. That's okay. All right, so that's the, one of the first issues. The second issue is combat. 
Uh, <coughs> there are no breakdown units in combat, so if you lose, if you've got to lose two points, if you don't have a two strength cavalry unit with you, you need to lose a four strength unit. If you don't have a four strength unit with you, you need to lose a ten strength unit to fulfill the obligation of those two those two steps that uh, or two factors that you're required to lose. The the combat. Um, at the basic, in the basic game, and I'm using the basic rules combat because you really don't get that much more out of the advanced game. You basically grab a bunch of dice and put units on the board and come up with the same result, or close to the same result. I haven't done it, so that's a generalization, but let's just focus in on this combat results table and uh, the, tactic, the tactics and chits. It's, it's unclear to me Because the first turn I didn't have any strategy shoots and stratagems. Uh, it's unclear to me the value they're going to bring to the table other than giving me initiative. Uh, it's not going to really improve my results uh, and my, my combat results. So we're doing a straight, whoever's got the most factors is going to roll the best and then potentially be able to take advantage of special tactics, which are, uh, you know, which are going to be a result of the type of formation that the units are able to take. The, excuse me, the other factor here is the, the discipline. So if you, if you lose factors, that's one thing and you've got a, there's no breakdown units. So that means you can often lose a massive amount of force. And when you look at what's going on here over the course of a month, let's say this is some sort of extended battle that's going on. We're really dealing with uh, what would amount to massive losses, uh, which would then potentially be compounded in the pursuit phase as well. There's a missile phase, an assault phase, and a pursuit phase. So I'm a little unclear as to why the, the, that's kind of structured the way it is. I really do like the Carthage model from uh, Richard Burke's system where there is a, a plethora of DRMs that come to bear based on the relative uh, disparity in strength of cavalry, whether or not you have elite units, uh, all of that te tends to come more to the fore. And that may be represented in the advanced game, more so than this game here, this, this basic game here. Uh, now all that said, now here was the other point that I had about the movement too, before I forget. There seems to be, uh, you know, clearly there would be a, uh, Know, scouting units as well, right? We, we, we have uh, vanguards that are going to go out and scout the way. So guys, uh, we're not going to get lost across the 30-day time span. We're not going to get lost. We're just not. <laughs> we, may, we, may, we may have stragglers. We may lose uh, a little thread of guys along the way, but we ain't, uh, we ain't, we ain't get lost in the woods. <laughs> so anyway... So what was I going to wrap up? That's all I really wanted to say was that despite all that, it's a very interesting game. Uh, I, I'm curious, uh, and I've uh, gone and found a couple of books that uh, I'm busily digging through right now on the uh, Makamanai, or Makamana, I think it is. Is it? I can't remember how to pronounce it. Yeah, Makamanai. And uh, the Quad Eye. You know, invasion that this is supposed to be representing, which I rolled for, and we had four tribes activate. Uh, they're kind of spread out all over the place, and I'm not, I'm not getting the sense that we're we're deriving the historical uh, situation here. So I'm going to have a look at that as well, uh, reference some more historical text, and and perhaps adjust this, and then add some extra uh, some extra units for the beginning of the game. Uh, Maybe this is supposed to be a situation where forces are recruited over time, over the course of three or four months, and that may well be the case. I could potentially recruit five or six, uh, five or six uh, bands of troops uh, of German warriors. All right, just want to share that with you, and. We're just playing along here. These are thoughts as they come out. Doesn't mean it's a bad system. Doesn't mean you shouldn't have a look at it. Blah, 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 blah. Talk to you soon. Gotta go.